In the Southern African Development Community, or SADC region, an estimated 70% of the population depend on one of our most valuable natural resources for their survival, groundwater. Rain and other forms of precipitation soak into the ground, filling cracks and other openings in soil and rocks. These natural receptacles are known as aquifers, nature's treasure chests of precious fresh water, an essential resource for life on Earth. About one third of the people living in the Sadiq region live in drought prone areas. Here, groundwater is the primary source of drinking water, as well as for irrigation, industrial uses, town supply, tourism, and wildlife. Groundwater is a lifeline to the Sadiq region, but the importance of this vital natural resource is often underestimated. Some Sadiq member states largely depend on groundwater, such as Namibia. Botswana and South Africa are now actively integrating the use of groundwater into their water resources management policies, and for good reason. In this water-scarce region, 40% of the population rely on unimproved water sources, like groundwater or surface water, which is generally unsafe and often prone to drought. The poor design and shallowness of wells, along with inappropriate pumping devices, make reliance on groundwater even more vulnerable. And the lack of water level monitoring and prediction is another aggravating factor. Added to this, groundwater supply is also under real threat from overuse due to industrial and domestic development, mining and agriculture, as well as pollution and contamination, including the use of nitrate-based fertilizers. Besides the threat from people, Groundwater supplies are also under threat from drought. One of the key advantages of groundwater is its reliability. Long after rivers and streams have dried up, groundwater can still be accessed through wells, springs and boreholes. But this buffering capacity to drought is not without limits. When demand is high in the dry season and rainfall is low, some groundwater sources may fail and a groundwater drought may occur. Groundwater stores also recover more slowly after drought than surface water, and problems may take months or years to emerge. Some sources may fail even after the rains return and the drought is thought to be over. Imagine the devastation of groundwater drought in natural wetland ecosystems, such as the Okavango Delta in Botswana and many similar areas in the Sadiq region. There is mounting evidence that the possible effect of groundwater drought on flora and fauna in these areas could be catastrophic, not to mention related threats such as changes in groundwater levels, groundwater discharges, and groundwater quality. So, what can be done to ensure that people in these and other vulnerable areas continue to harness this natural resource in a safe and sustainable way? This is where the SADC Water Division's Groundwater Management Program comes into the picture. Its vision, the improved management of groundwater resources in the entire SADC region. The aim of the SADC Regional Groundwater Management Program is to highlight the importance and benefits of proper management of groundwater in the region through providing relevant tools, knowledge, and information to targeted stakeholders. To achieve this, the program encompasses the following. Capacity building by way of a regional groundwater management program. Establishment of a regional groundwater information system. A groundwater monitoring network and a groundwater research institute. And the compilation of a regional hydrogeological map and atlas for the SADC region. The SADC Groundwater and Drought Management Project is part of the Regional Groundwater Management Program. The project aims to strengthen the capacity of SADC member states in the management of transboundary groundwater resources in drought-prone areas to meet human development needs whilst protecting groundwater-dependent ecosystems. The objective 
is also to develop a SADC regional strategic approach to support and enhance the capacity of its member states in the definition of drought management policies. Components of the project include the development of groundwater drought management tools and guidelines, the establishment of a regional groundwater management institute to continue long-term monitoring, and research into groundwater dependent ecosystems, their occurrence, vulnerability, value, and protection. With one third of the people in the SADC region living in drought prone areas, awareness of groundwater and drought management issues is critical at every level of the community and government. To ensure this lifeline of water supply survives and thrives, key policy and decision makers in the environmental, water, energy, agriculture and other ministries must understand the very real threats to this most precious of resources. So what can be done? Groundwater issues must be included into the water management framework for the integrated water resources management. With continuous population growth and industrial expansion impacting the state of groundwater around the world, implementing comprehensive groundwater management strategies is critical. But stakeholders must act now to avert a crisis. The development of countries in the SADC region is highly dependent on ongoing adequate and reliable water resources. The effective management of groundwater and drought in this region is literally a matter of life and death, certainly for the 70% of the population in affected SADC areas. The positive spin-offs of good groundwater management are multifold, a leg up to the SADC economy, poverty alleviation, and a massive boost for public health and the environment, a buffer in the face of climate change, and positive force in conflict management. Since the implementation of the Groundwater Project in 2007, these positive spin-offs have the chance of becoming a reality and helping the region to meet most of the Millennium Development Goals. But the progress is just a trickle at this stage. Together, we can make it a mighty flowing river. Groundwater is an abundant natural resource, making up 90% of all of the fresh water in the world. Let's keep it that way.